Hey what's up guys, I'm Kempo Nano and welcome back to my channel. Today we're back with more Days Gone and we are currently riding Nomad. In the last part we found out that Sarah might be alive. Uh, she had a clearance pass, something. So when a camp was overrun, um, she was able to, since she had the pass, she could get on a chopper and out of there. So they took her to a camp and then that camp was attacked by military, I guess, and now we're just out looking for her in a location that O'Brien gave us where she might be. So that's the current situation. Um, we're in a new area. We can't go back to Lost Lake. Um, so life is great. <laughs> so. Uh, okay. What the hell? Yeah, what the heck is going on? So we heard gunshots and now we're driving. Oh! Boy, oh boy. Oh god. Um, hold on. Oh shit. Kill the rager. Oh no. Come at me, bro. Shit. Oh! Yeah, got him. Got him. Go, go. Uh, think, think, think. Why do I not have. Come on, come on, come on. Get in there. Okay. Finally. Would you like get over here? Get it. Get it. There go. Do we have more red barrels? That would be great. Another Molotov. Take this. Okay, it's not too hard. Uh, There we go. You. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I don't know what we would have done without oh, you, man. Oh, come oh, on. Hey, okay, all right, all right, all right. It's dead. It's uh, cool. Man of the hour. Oh, God. I'm Russell. Glenn Russell. This is Private Mullins. Rick. Private? Rick, Rick. Okay. Uh, I'm Deacon St. John. Did, did you say private? Yeah. This, uh, this shoots county militia. You're not from around here. You come over the pass? Uh, no, no, no. I've just been uh, drifting. I came over the uh, salt flats east of Silver Lake. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell are you doing out here, man? How'd you get across the 97? Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus, man. So many what? questions. This guy just saved your freaking life. The colonel told us to look out for anybody entering the territory, north or south. It, well, freaking slow your roll, man. We'll let the captain deal with that, okay? You just killed a freaking ranger, dude! Come with us. We gotta camp just by Diamond Lake. Get you three hots in the cut. Least we can do. Okay, yeah, sounds good. What about Flores? Okay. We can't just leave him. Uh, you stay here. I'll come back with some fuel. No! Listen, stay here. Use his ammo if you gotta. You'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> Deacon is not into that. <laughs> Following you. So I guess I don't have my rifle. You gotta stick with me, okay? Been having some trouble with squatters out here the past few weeks. A patrol picks you up, could be trouble. Oh yeah, Carlos okay, ripped it off it. my back, didn't he? So that uh, the shoots county militia. Look, man, all I know is they feed me. They want me to salute and yes, sir, I salute and say yes, sir. How big's your outfit? The camp out here? We got a hundred, maybe more. Hard to keep track. Back at HQ, a whole lot more than that. Yeah, okay. Uh, any women? Hell, that what you're about? Well, you can forget it. <laughs> Girls got rules about that. Frat, fraternity. 
Fraternizing. <laughs> yeah, that. Look, you pull your weight, you follow orders, nobody messes with you. Women same as the men. Don't matter to the colonel. I'm not... Uh... <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm looking for some people and a woman that I rode with a year back or so. They would have come over from Silver Lake, and they would have been at one of those Nero refugee camps, I think. Silver Lake? Jesus, man. Silver Lake's been gone a lot longer than that. Yeah, yeah. It's too goddamn easy to lose track of time out of here, you know? Anyway, you guys, uh, do you pick anyone up? Survivors, I mean, from, uh, from the refugee camp. Maybe. Like I said, it's a big freaking army, you know? Ask the captain. He came in across the salt flats, I think. He might know. The captain? Yeah, Corey. He commands the Diamond Lake outpost. We're almost there. So I guess this is that... It. Ooh. It's Corporal Russell. Open up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was, like, waiting for him to drive in. So I guess this is kind of a... I don't know what you even call it. The area? It looks like everything is destroyed. Hello. Report. Captain, sir, we had him. We did. Found his bike still smoking. I bet you lost him, huh? Uh, no, sir. I mean, yeah, we lost him. We ran into a rager, sir. Where's Mullins? Flores? Flores is dead, sir. I'll have Mullins with a body. That'll be all, Corporal. Go get some fuel. Head back to Mullins. You know what to do. Yeah. Yes, sir. If it wasn't for this man, we'd all be dead, sir. I should have promised him some food and a safe place to camp tonight, sir. Corporal, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. And you are? Name's Deacon St. John. Name's Corey. Derek Corey. <gasps> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. I've been on the road for a long time. Your man Russell said you were recruiting? Well, are you interested? I've been looking to settle down. Yeah, find a camp. I'm interested. You gotta do some runs for me. <laughs> well, he was wearing my ring. Or Deacon's ring. So, how long have you been drifting? Hard to say. Uh, you lose track of time out there, you know? So, uh, where'd you get your gear? Ammo. Well, there's a couple of camps I used to do runs for. Bounty hunting, mostly. Freaks? Or men? Both. I had a reputation for... Being able to track shit down, you know? Oh, which camps? Where are they? You know, past the Farewell Valley. It doesn't matter. They're gone now. They're overrun. Uh, Russell said you were there when Silver Lake was overrun? Yeah. That was a shit show, I can tell you. Uh, any survivors? A few. Why are you not working hard? Why are you... God, I don't like this place at all. Here, take this. Militia script, camp credits. Payment for helping my men. Use them at any of the commissaries. Okay. You gonna join up? Stick around. We're getting ready to ride out of here soon. Getting ready to ride out where? You said you had some tracking skills. Yeah, some. Look out for my bat. <laughs> this isn't the life of a drifter. We're fighting a war out here. You sure you're up for it? Is that the best you got? I can recruit you. But the colonel is the only one who can swear you in. You stick around. Give us a hand. I'll take you to him myself. I'll be here. Good. Oh, that ring. Jesus. Jesus, motherfucker has my ring. He took it from Sarah. He had take it from Sarah because she wouldn't have given it to him. So that means that she's got to be here. Hmm. Hmm. He doesn't look like militia. Find a drifter to question. Okay. Hey. Uh, 
Uh, you don't look very militia to me. No, nah, um, man. Name's Wade. Wade Taylor. You can call me Wade. Deacon St. John. <laughs> Holy Listen. shit. Deacon St. John? Is your old man a preacher or something? No. Man, that is a hell of a name. Alright, listen. You wait. see this, man? This is some crazy shit. Yeah. Whew. So what, you joining up, become an army man, you playing soldier and shit? I don't know, maybe. Listen, what uh, is wrong you with look them? like you just came in from out the shit, right? Yeah, man, yesterday. Okay, yesterday. I've been, been waiting to see the colonel, whatever the hell that is. Traveling with some people, we got separated. You see anyone that look like this around here? Uh, nah, man. Ooh, she is a looker. I'd hit that, you know. <laughs> uh, what is go, wrong? Man, they're checking me for lice or some shit. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Jesus, what a name. He sounds Jesus, like he's high. Fucked up. <laughs> yeah. He wouldn't remember Sarah if she slapped him in the face. Go, Come on, go, Sarah. Go. Come on. You Where the hell are you? Okay. You're here. Somewhere. Maybe in these tents. Maybe in here. Oh, there is a collectible, I think. Cute drawings. Oh, God. I'm glad Sarah and I never had kids. Losing them must have been. Yeah, don't even think about that, Deacon. Don't even think about it. Check this one. The infirmary. I mean, with her background, that's where she would be, right? You feeling oh, it. <laughs> Unless they have her working on something. If you don't know what she did at work, then how would you know where she would that's be? Gotta be the one. Sarah? Sarah, you in here? God damn it, she's not here. She's not here, but right, yeah, yeah, it couldn't be that easy. Now could it? St. John, you on this channel? Corporal Russell said you had a radio. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm here. Meet me at the gate. Here? On my way. Okay. So far, don't like this place at all. Maybe Just want right to get out. Here. Coming. Ready when you are. So you put a lot of work into this. Yeah, I did. Some. Don't you dare part it. I'm gonna kick your ass. Open it up! I spent a lot of credits on this bike. You're not taking it away from me. God, we're almost done you with with Sarah's storyline. I guess if this mission, if the storyline doesn't update after this, then there's probably just one mission left with. So what the hell happened back there? I mean, it looks like a forest fire, but the stumps are charred. So that means that means that the timber was cut before it was burned. You got a good eye. Zone. We oh, yeah, that's build our barricades that burn the slash. From the outpost, we can see a horde coming long before it reaches us. What? You're gonna burn all the buildings too, so the newts and the swarmers have nowhere to sleep? You know your freaks, huh? Like I said, I've been out in the ship for a long time. So that's your plan, huh? The militia, I mean, to burn everything to the ground? We're fighting a war out here, St. John. We'll do whatever it takes to win. A war? Who are you been... fighting against? You've been out in this shit. You've seen the wars. The only thing that's gonna stop them is an army. Our oh, army. that war. It's gonna take way more than an army. You have a plan. The colonel lets you join. We'll fill you in. So, Silver Lake. You asked about survivors. You looking for someone? No. No, not really. I mean, look. There were some folks that I rode with once, and I thought maybe they ended up there. I thought maybe you were after something. For a bounty, I mean. Yeah, no. I tracked men over long distances before, but not this far. No bounty's worth that. Are we going back to... This is it. To where we killed the bear? Captain's here. It's done, sir. Make sure you make a marker. Yes, sir. A marker? All right. 
You two head back to Diamond Lake. Grab, uh, Taylor was his name? Yes, sir. Yeah. Take him to the Colonel. I'll be there in 1800. Sir? Military time, Corporal. You're supposed to know this by now. Oh, yes, sir. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. You find something? Uh, how long is, uh, Vasquez? How long has Vasquez been with you guys? A couple of weeks, maybe more. <laughs> well, he's been busy. What the hell? You guys been having trouble with supply runs, marauder attacks? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on foot from here. On foot? Why? <laughs> because Vasquez came out here for a reason. I can't track him from the bike. Yeah. Oh. Where do we start? A good soldier. It's been snowing, so uh, there won't be any boot prints. Come on, I want to look inside the cabin. Okay, I'm following you. Oh, it's a bounty. Oh. Okay. A dog toy. Oh my god, that dude is so weird. You uh, <clears throat> you said he stole rations, ammo. Yes. This is an MRE. It's half eaten, so looks like your men rode up on him when he wasn't expecting it. His bike's still out front, which means that he went out the back. Wait, over here. What would you find? The fence has been cut. And the rust. So it was cut recently. Yeah, come on, this way. I do get what the what this dude's camp is trying to do, but it's a little bit um you know, the soldiers is survivors. It's like it's hey, hold on for a second. Not everyone Look, is cut out to be a soldier, so Tracks? uh yeah, we're in luck. <sighs> this way. To me it just sounds like a bad, bad way to wait, get wait, wait, a lot of up. people killed. What? You find something? Yeah. Shell casing. Recently fired. He uh He's got a shotgun. To shoot at something. Come on, down here. I saw a wolf, so that's probably it. Go on, get out of here. What are you doing? Swish, swish. Yelling at a wolf. Oh, shit. Look out, more wolves. I see him. Bitch ass. Oh, shit. Get the hell out of here, dumbass dog. That's it. That's the last of them. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. Nice work. Can't skin him? Hold on a second. I'm just gonna get some meat for the camp, you know? Huh, meat. Um, so yeah, it, to me, it's a terrible, terrible idea to recruit. Okay, I want to take a look Can at I this thing. Can I repair this? I can. Or oh, I thought it was a human. Looks like the MREs weren't enough for your man. Clean gunshot, right through the head. Yeah, the wolves must have heard the shot. Decided they wanted it more than Vasquez. Yeah, the rest of the pack came at us from back that way, from the east. You think they chased off Vasquez, leaving one to guard the carcass? That's my guess. Come on, let's see if you're right. That's some clever puppies. You guys got a lot of wolves out here? The ones that aren't infected, I mean? Yeah, we get reports almost every day. When I was a kid growing up, there were no wolves in Oregon. I mean, a few coyotes, but no wolves. They've been driven to extinction by ranchers and farmers, timber companies. Well, it looks like they're making a big comeback. Is that a wolf? It's not a... Hold up, hold up, hold up. But what is it? It's a backpack. It's one of ours. Looks like they almost got to him. And he shrugged off the path oh, it's to guts. Away. I thought it was no, no, no. to buy else. time. He landed on his ass. Tried to scramble away, but then the wolf lunged. Vasquez dropped him. 
two shots. You can tell all that. Yeah. Yeah, we're pretty smart. We're pretty good at this. Did you call that a swarm? My man, that's not a swarm. That's a yeah, goddamn right war. I gotta say, I'm getting tired of running and hiding from these sons of bitches. You ever take on a swarm? Yeah, I've done it before. It's not a moving. swarm. Look, you're gonna join the militia? You must stay focused on the mission. We're not out here to fight freaks. Being in the shit, killing freaks, he kinda goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Okay, um... Put some distance between us and the graves. The cold weather's gonna bring out even more of them. I think they can smell the corpse from about a mile out. Part of our slash and burn strategy is to find these grave sites, dig them up, and burn them along with everything else. Yeah, well, good luck with that. I've seen hundreds of them. It's just in this part of the state alone. Yeah, we've got to start somewhere. All right, where now? Keep heading east. Hey, there's a road ahead. Hold up a second. What do you think? I don't like that he's wearing tracking. Sarah's ring. I'm being so quiet, but I'm just really into it. No, oh, but he's either dead, or he's got a lot of friends. You see how his tracks have been overridden by bikes. A lot of bikes. So someone okay. picked him up? Come on. Let's see where they're heading. You said cold weather brings out the freaks? Yeah, yeah. Cold, snow, rain, hell, even clouds. Well, like I said before, you know your freaks. When we get to command, there's some people who want to talk to you. People? The colonel will fill you in, if he lets you join. Yeah, yeah, I think you said that already. Look, he runs a tight outfit. I just don't want you to get your hopes up. Hey, don't worry about me. I don't really give a damn either way. Hey, wait. Hear that? Yeah, it's coming from the logging camp over there. Is that on your map? Yeah. Oh, that means it's also on Vasquez's map. Come on. If Vasquez is there, what would your strategy be? Well, he's not alone. We know that from the tracks. What's that militia penalty for going AWOL? Hanging by the neck until dead. Why? Well, it means Vasquez isn't coming without a fight. Um, can I heal up? Great. So, are we gonna sneak in here, or...? Oh, now we're here. I couldn't hear anything before. I wonder if we're gonna be crossing paths, paths with a schizo again. Hopefully, we'll get a chance to kill him, but I don't think so. Do you see your man? Yeah. That's him. Oh, looks like you guys need to start doing background checks on your recruits. He seems to be right at home. Oh, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, oh this one's a fighter, boys! What do you think? Oh, see about that. <laughs> What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm giving you an order. Order? <laughs> you see me wearing a red armband? You don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want. Yeah, you can't really give me orders until I'm like a part of this. Oh shit, there's a lot of marauders. There's a lot of them, guys. This is gonna take me forever. Dan in it. Dan in it. You stay behind me. You give me cover if you have to. Oh, he's actually helpful. Got him. 
Uh oh. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Let's not get this bitch. Where the hell is he going? My man. Oh, going for the sniper, I see. That's a good idea. Okay, go around here. I guess we're going straight for him. Anyone gonna see this? Don't think so. But this is a probably the best thing we can do. Woo. Let's get down from here. Any bushes? There's some over there. And some over here. Let's get this guy over here. So far, so good. I think we're doing pretty well. Something's here. No. Okay, almost halfway. Um, I should probably use these. I don't know why I haven't. Good night. Oh, let me just get these. Maybe useful. No one's out there. There's a dude there. You don't see me. Good. Oh. Let's go inside the house and outside the window again. I should probably loot these guys, but... Gunpowder. Yes. So the plan is to maybe distract that lady when that guy turns around. What? Go back, go back, go back. Uh oh. Okay, they're nowhere here, they're nowhere here, they're nowhere here. Kill him! She ain't dead? Oh my god. Are there more coming? shots do these guys take? It's like they're a bit stronger. Missed. Missed. I can't hit this lady for to save my life. Okay, two left. One left. Where you at? Where you hiding? Oh. Hello. Last of them. I think so. Nice work. Thank you. Come on, let's go deal with your man. Vasquez. He isn't my man. 
man. Not anymore. He ain't my man. <laughs> oh. I would have never found this. Stand guard in case we missed anyone. Handle him? Lots of time. He won't know what hit him. <gasps> Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy. I'm, <laughs> I'm just here to help. Not my private parts. <laughs> Goddamn help. Okay. I can see that. I'm just gonna move over here. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you stab him in the. Badonkadonk. Hold on, hold on now. We're not with them. You guys see how damn who you are? Okay. Okay. What the hell was that? Just oh, no. damsel in distress. Vasquez? Done. Way done. <laughs> He won't be making babies anymore. <laughs> this is Corey. We're here, heading up the road to the main gate. Hold your position there. We're coming. What about the enemy? They've been uh, uh, neutralized. Hmm. I sure have. Hold your position. Curry out. Come on. We brought up your bikes, Captain. Thought we'd save you the walk back. That'll be all, Corporal. So how'd I do? Did I pass? Pass? Oh, you've been <laughs> watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. You pass. Hell yeah. Oh. You ready to meet the colonel? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why the hell not? Where did you serve? Serve for the caught guys. Yeah, you know what an MRE looks like. You know how to recon an enemy position. You know cover in advance, tactical maneuvers. So, where did you serve? Marines? Army? Try not to talk about it, you know? I mean, first year out here, it seemed like anyone who used to wear a uniform had a target on their back. I, uh, I was in the Army, 10th Mountain. I did a full tour in Afghanistan. So how about you? Anyone who's ex-military has a, <laughs> a certain bearing. None of your soldiers have it, but you do. Like I said, you got a good eye. I was in the Air Force 10 years, part of SAC. Oh, the Air Force? There ain't Force. no missile silos in Oregon! I was on vacation, believe it or not. I was lucky. Before SACCOM went down, I got hourly reports from across the country. What do you think it was bad out here? Everything east of the Mississippi was overrun within two days. It sounds so Hold insane. Up. I want to show like, you something. Two, day, two days, and then everything has gone to shit? Probably not even two days. So, are you familiar with this area? Yeah, I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, oh, wow. Farewell, you know it? No. no. It sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Well, maybe you have been here before. Not really? Yeah, I've been here uh, a few summers back. Me and my old lady, or my wife, we stopped by here on our honeymoon. You got a pick? Oh, of your wife, I mean. <laughs> no. Oh, he's got... Her name what? was Carrie. We were married 12 years when... Anyway, it was a long time ago. Oh, uh, flashback. No hmm. trespassing. You know what? This might mean keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. Why? Because we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. <sighs> Speak for yourself. After you. <laughs> Wouldn't that hurt? Uh, you know, making me a co-conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chival what? 
No, it means um. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Oh my God! You should have seen the look on your face. Oh, I bet it was funny. Yeah, if I'd owned a cell phone, I'd have taken a picture. Well, for just this once, I'm glad that you don't. Oh, come on, don't start on that again. Hey, I didn't say anything. You brought it up. You just did. Hmm, <laughs> that is so cute. Where are we actually going? Are we in the area we're at or we're in now? The dead zone? This is this game is so beautiful. So where are we going? Just follow the trail. You'll see that it's not that far. I love these moments with these two. What would my mom say if she knew I was out on a midnight stroll in the middle of nowhere with an outlaw biker? Oh, she would kill you. Oh, she'd say, honey, you better wear your sweater. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Yeah, she wouldn't say anything, you know? You weren't supposed to tell them about us, remember? Oh, come on, Deacon, I said that a long time ago. You know I didn't mean that. Hey, look, I'm not judging. I'm just... I mean, I, just, I haven't told my old man. That's because your father's dead. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, there's that. The question is, have you told anyone in the MC that you're dating a nice girl from Seattle and not some bimbo from whatever strip club you guys live in? <laughs> oh, well, okay, wait a second. No, we don't live in a strip club. I mean, we have a lifetime membership there, that's true, but we don't live there. And second, uh... I did tell her. Yeah, matter of fact, I did. Wait, you, you did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, don't sound so surprised. They find your PhDs to be very sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. He's so char charming, Deacon. So, you know this is way past my bedtime, right? Oh, I know. Come on, stop. I mean, I really do have to get up early tomorrow. Yeah? Uh, how's that going? I mean, yeah. Uh, well, you never want to talk about it, so... It's nothing. It's just... Ugh, it's just this project, and we've got these execs flying in from New York to audit our progress, and the suits at our facility are installing a new lab without even showing me the spec, and... Ooh, well, I thought you didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> Sorry, it's just... You know what, like I said, it's nothing. Anyway, thank you for dragging me away from all that. Yeah. No problem. Mm -hmm. We never really knew anything about her career, actually, so she might have been working for Nero. Is this what you wanted to show me? Say what? Well, these are marijuana plants, and it's an irrigation system, so this here, this is a pot farm. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that, pot farm. Okay, I did not expect that. You dragged me out in the middle of the night to the middle of nowhere to show me the MC's illegal towing operation. Uh... Yeah, I mean, you got me. <laughs> I was hoping that you could give us some tips, you know, cultivation. Put all those PhDs to work on something actually useful. Jesus, TQ, what? <laughs> okay, I get it. This is not actually what you wanted to show me, right? No, of course it's not. Come on, keep following the trail. We're almost there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it would have been kind of funny if that yeah, was what he was I going would. to show her. Think I would learn, but I never learn. Nope. Ah, <sighs> God. His sarcasm? Oh my God. God. Look at that moonlight. It is... It's so beautiful. Keep going. It really is. Uh, we're almost there. You ever wonder what it would be like if just everywhere all at once the lights went out and everyone could just see the world just like this? What, you mean, like, all dark and shadowy and depressing? I mean, the moonlight, the wildflowers, the fireflies... Oh, I see you with me again. Okay, you don't take anything seriously. <laughs> oh, I take everything seriously. Oh, yeah, right! I do! You do not! Like, when I suggested moving some of my stuff over to your place, you pretended that I was joking. Uh-uh, no, that's not true. I pretended I didn't hear you. There's a big difference. <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face. And you know, I do have a cell phone and I took a picture. You want me to show you? My god, you're a scientist. Can we be rational about this? Okay, 
First of all, all I said is that we should think about moving in together. You know, because we get to spend more time together and, you know, take the next step. What's irrational about that? I have a toothbrush at your place. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? You're right. That is a huge commitment. <laughs> well, I mean, do you know how For much him? a good Probably toothbrush is. cost? Okay, see, there you go again. Every time I try to talk about our future, you turn it into a joke. Okay, all right. We do need to talk about it. And we will talk about it, but just hold on. Or is he going to propose? <laughs> I want to show you something. Okay. See? This is why I brought you out here. Please tell me we're going to see him propose. <sighs> wow, how beautiful. Was it worth it? God, yes. <laughs> hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? Deacon. Will you? Will I? Wear this wing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's not going to? So that he is. Oh, he is. On two conditions. Name him. Okay, well, the first one is that we don't have one of those biker weddings where you say that you're going to ride me as much as your bike. Done. I couldn't promise that anyway. <laughs> Stop. Okay, the second one. The second one is that you never leave me. Done. God, did you just find your biker ring on my finger? Uh, you know what? <laughs> I think you probably Ooh. did. <sighs> <sighs> Look at it. It's so cute with this little fangs just like clenching onto the chain. You know, nothing says true love like dog skull. Dog skull. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what does it say there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew Latin. Come on. <laughs> it's Morier Invictus. <laughs> it means death before defeat. Wow, I like that. Well, you're gonna get me like a real ring, though, right? Not that this one's no, not absolutely, great. Absolutely, because I, I just you know, thought that's my ring. Right. <laughs> more simple. Without fangs. Okay. <laughs> no. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. No, that's your right. It's the lab. I gotta get it. Okay. Hello? Yeah. No, no, no. It's fine. I'll be right there. Okay, bye. Is everything okay? I don't know. They need me back there. What? I gotta go. Uh, th this minute? Like, th this time of night? I'm sorry. I have to go, but I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. Come on. They are adorable. Oh my god. My wife's name was, uh, Beth. Beth? No, I don't have a pick. <laughs> Let's go. I think you know he's lying. He might know about Sarah, maybe, from hearing his name. I don't know. I don't know. Sarah probably wouldn't have talked about him. Almost there. Right with, right to Wizard Island with Captain Curry. Curry, is it Cur Curry or Curry? Q. <laughs> I don't know English. <laughs> Not unusual, you know. I'm sorry. What's that? Do not have any photos of your wife, family. Yeah, why do you say that? Back in the day, everyone used smartphones. That's where we kept all our photos. The oh, phone went true. away, the cloud went away, our photos went with them. That's true. Yeah, I guess I hadn't thought about that. My wife, Carrie. Her father was a photographer. Old school. Dark room, Can chemicals, all that. Too stubborn to embrace the digital age, I think. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have any photos either. Yeah, well, I hated him. Cell phones, I mean. It seemed like everyone walked around with their noses buried in the damn things. I never owned one. Interesting. How'd you manage that? Yeah. I worked as a mechanic. I, uh, I had my own shop. Probably had the last landline in Farewell. Really? Yeah. I could live without my phone. Mostly because I feel like it's a... It, I feel safe having it in case like I need to call someone or someone needs to get a hold of me. I had it like here and there was no. Mm -mm.
This is nice. Uh, you guys are taking this shit seriously. The Colonel believes with enough motivation and discipline, we can achieve anything. Come on, hurry your ass up. I'm going as fast as I can. Just move it. Is that your idea of motivation? <laughs> Colonel has set up a work camp on the south side of the island for those unfit to serve. Some of them require extra encouragement. I'll bet. I don't agree with that. No. Follow me. Yes, sir. Obviously, shit needs to get done. Oh no. Anna That's the guy we talked to. Good luck, St. John. Don't hang us. What? Got your ass too, huh? Hey, man. It's good to see you again. St. John, right? Son of the preacher man? Taylor, what's this son of a preacher man shit you keep saying? I'm just kidding with you, man. Hey, do you have any luck? What? The, the woman you were looking for, you and your peeps are riding with. No. I need all your jewelry, watches, shit like that. Come on, in the bag. Sure, man, whatever you say. The hell you say? Recruits aren't allowed personal effects. This side shit's just gonna get stolen. Come on, cough it up. Oh, yeah, shit's gonna get stolen. Goddamn bullshit. Tin hot! Oh, shoot. <laughs> Deacon. <laughs> At ease. Visitors are not welcome here. You are here because you were invited, recruited by my trusted officers. When you answer me, start by giving me your name, last name first. Getting by, same as everybody. Name. Atkins, Crystal, sir. How many men have you killed? Before or after? Answer the question. Fuck you. Okay. We have all done things that we're not proud of. What? To survive, to stay alive. The Almighty understands this. Right. The Almighty yeah. forgives Amen. this. Amen. <laughs> but here. On this woman's face <laughs> are the footprints of Satan. <laughs> Prison tattoos. Proof of what you once were and no doubt still are. <laughs> <laughs> Big fan. It's people like her that are responsible for bringing the wrath of the Almighty down upon us yeah. all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take her to the work camp. What? Ah. You. Yeah. Fuck you. Come oh. on, gorgeous. Let's go. Goddamn redneck assholes. Get off of me. <laughs> swear God. What about you? Uh, Taylor. Uh, wait. And, um, no, sir. I, uh, never been to jail. Never killed anyone. Nothing like that. You've been in the shit for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I know, I know how to shoot stuff. My, my dad took me hunting when I was a kid the, at a camp near Klamath Falls. It got... Talking too much. And how about you, son? You know how to use a gun? Sorry, yes, sorry. St. John, Deacon. Yeah, I know how to use a gun. You're a drifter. Hold out your right arm. Tenth Mountain. Iraq? Afghanistan. Honorable service and don't lie to me. Oh no. Served one tour, served with honor, hated every goddamn minute of it. <laughs> Thou shalt not lie. Good man. Hold up your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the new constitution of these United States against all enemies? natural and unnatural to bear witness and support to the same and to obey all orders without question so do you swear i swear what the f what is going on <laughs> so i guess that was the guy we're supposed to meet 
Captain Curry doesn't bring me many recruits these days. He must think highly of your combat skills. Mm, he should. Uh, I've been in the shit a long time. You know your way around the freaks? Yes, sir. I, uh, I know as much as anyone, sir. Good, good. Soldier? In here. We'll have the doc take a look at you. Okay. That shouldn't have to be... Pulse is strong. Okay. Good heart rate. Got a pretty nasty burn there. How'd that happen? Uh, had a run in with a wood stove. Wood stove, huh? Who dressed this? I did. No está mal. Not bad at all. Thank you. Keep it dressed or you're gonna lose that arm. You hear me, amigo? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I want you to check back with Mexico? me in a few days. Got it. Well, Doc. Ah, he's fit to serve. Lara bien. You doing runs out in the ship? <laughs> Sorry, Doc. Uh, ya tiene novia. Uh, he's spoken for. Let me guess. The Wizard Island Witch. Vaya con Dios. Good luck, amigo. Let's go, son. What? I normally don't tolerate insubordination, referring to an officer as a witch. But I make exceptions for some of my more eccentric officers. Yes, sir. I make exceptions. Because every man and woman still living has a role to play. Do you believe in God, St. John? Mm, Never gave it much no. thought, sir. Well, it's high time that you did. He has a plan for us, all of us. And my part is this. I thought he was going to do something crazy there because he stopped. But who's the witch? I swear it's going to be sir? Sarah. This place, I had a vision. Oh, nothing so grand as those described in the Old Testament. No flaming chariots or burning bushes. I simply woke up one morning before God's plague had rained down upon the world and knew that this was the place. Crater Lake, uh, Wizard Island. I call it the Ark. Are you familiar with the story? Yeah, I mean, yeah. yes, sir. I mean, everyone's everyone's heard of it. Indeed, you'd be surprised how few have read the Bible or the Book of Revelations. You mean Genesis, Noah's story? I mean, um, that it's it's the Book of Genesis, sir. Yes. In Denmark, um, the teachers we uh, read the story for you, and you do have a class that's called religion. Okay, right, so let's years. get you squared away. Whatever you say. Now, we don't have much in the way of uniforms, I'm sorry to say, but uh, I think that... Uh, oh, here. Try this on. A hat? <sighs> Seems to fit. I'll take that. Well, if you don't mind, this is a gift from an old friend. An old friend? Not many of those left anymore, are there? No, there are not. Okay, soldier. But I don't want to see you wearing it. You're one of us now. And normally we start new recruits in the rank of private. But since Captain Curry has vouched for your experience in the field, we are starting you out at the rank of corporal. Thank Congratulations, you. son. Thank you, sir. This is so weird. Let's get you some work. This is hella weird. All right. Now, what was I saying? Uh, you were telling me about the. I couldn't ark, see anything. Sir. Yes, the ark. What you see here is only a small part of it. Behind us is a whole network of caves and vents that lead from here up to the cone's peak. When our work is complete. They will be filled with thousands of seeds, plants, computer files, and books. The world may die, but our achievements in medicine, science, and technology will not die with it. No, sir. See, but the island is more than just an ark. This sounds like a perfect place for Sarah to be at. A fortress. Like they would welcome scientists. Here at the North Gate, we are stockpiling enough munitions to take the fight to the freaks. We have rifles, grenades. Heavy machine guns and RPGs. We have the equipment to make ammunition. Every type, every caliber. Mm. 
This is our mechanical engineering area. If you need your bike repaired, see the officer on duty. Someone is sleeping. And as you can see here, courtesy of the old National Guard, we are building a fleet of trucks and other vehicles. Once the hordes are cleared from the highways, we will begin to rebuild the roads and bridges. Your slash and burn strategy may stop newts and swarmers, but it won't clear the highway. It won't, it won't stop the hordes, sir. We are aware, Corporal. The hordes. The hordes are a different beast entirely, aren't they? But we have a plan. Okay. Plan, sir? Benjamin Franklin once said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. We are not going to fail. So what is your plan? The heart of the army lives here, at the gate, ready to move on my command. These tents house hundreds of women and men, just like yourself, who have pledged and sworn their lives to the fight. But I have something else in mind for you. An assignment that requires more than just the ability to survive in the I shit holes of standing here. Are you up for it, son? This is ridiculous. Uh, yes, sir. Wherever you need me. You asked how we were going to defeat the Horde? Let me show you. Big guns? Maybe? Whoa! Oh my Ow. lord. That scared me. <laughs> you okay, Lieutenant? Oh. Hey, Colonel. Sorry about that. Weaver? Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up. Beat the enemy. Sorry. But, yeah. Uh, name's Weaver. James. St. John, Deacon. All this militia shit's just for show. Right, Colonel? Corporal St. John is new to Corey's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit, he's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah there's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? Oh, just the new gelling agent combining that fennec and palmitic acid. You're working on napalm? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my this God. This dude knows his shit. Uh, just a lucky guess. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, any time. Oh, Colonel. I'm getting real close, Colonel. Very close. That's good. That's really good. Where are you going next, Colonel? Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all, Lieutenant. What is this witch? <clears throat> Again, let me apologize for my more eccentric officers. Obviously, the no need, sir. developers are going to call Sarah something else, so we won't spoil, spoil as much it. As I in but obviously, work, it's going to be Sarah. What you're about to see could be, I think. Our path to victory. In here. All right, what is this? Ma'am, I got everything on the requisition form. Does this look like fabric softener? It's Sarah! No, ma'am. Okay, well, why don't you read it? <sighs> Active ingredients. Chlor chlor chloroform and, uh... It's Sarah, guys. Turpin, turpin, Get out. Get out. She's alive. Matt, I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. I got it covered. Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John. He's a new member of Corey's unit. I'm so excited to see how they're going to react. got experience out on the shit. Read this. Read this. You don't can't remember, read, can you? Active ingredients: chloroform, aterpenol, benzo alcohol, ethylacetic acid. Good enough. When can he start? Ah, oh, I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. What? You don't remember? Leave us. Or is she not going to show it? Stand at attention. Sarah, I don't. I... She's 
She doesn't. But I. What is going on? No, you're, you're. You're dead. You're. You're dead. You're, you're supposed to be dead. Hey, hey, hey. You're dead. It's okay. You're dead. I'm right here. Aww. Wait, wait a, wait a second. I, I don't understand. I couldn't I find you. you had died and I, uh, no, we were overrun. And and we had to go south. We, Nero, they yeah, said Nero, that no one no, made I it out. Farewell was overrun. They said that everybody was mountain. dead. And I, didn't think that I never thought I would see you again. Seen. Hey, listen, now we can ride out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't look back. Come on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. Are they, are they forcing you to stay here? No, you don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I didn't come here to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. And I guess we're staying. Can, you can stay here with me. Help me. <sighs> Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, man. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier. I guess this was not what he was expecting. Hold on tight. A war we can win. That did a lot of... Okay, so we're done with I Remember, and now there is a new one that's saying I'm never giving up. Okay. It's so all we've got. Health cocktails. I Remember custom. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end this part here. Um, really, really interesting. Didn't really do a lot of um, missions in this, but there's a lot of story involved. So that's good. Um, and didn't I tell you that Sarah was going to be alive? Um, it's not... I don't... I think they did this really, really well. I don't think players were expecting them to meet this way um, and their reactions. So I think they did this really, really well. I'm a huge fan. I love this game so much. Can't wait to play more of it. And I hope you guys are ready uh, for this game. I don't know how, f like, there might be 20 hours left of it, there might be 30, I don't know how f much I've played. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it if you will leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channel and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!